Okay, welcome guys. This is the second part to the video on multi-part form data post requests. So I'm pretty sure this will work as well with application slash JSON uh, post requests and any other post requests. But what I'm gonna show you guys is how to have a progress updater. So like 50%, 60% as it's uploading for longer uploads, which generally is probably gonna be with images and videos, but maybe you could have a long request for something else as well. So before we get started, if you need a fitness tracker, you can check out flex.app, link description. If you need a task tracker to get organized and kill procrastination, then check out todopad.app, link is also in the description and hit subscribe if this video helps out. So in the description, I have two projects. I'm gonna have this project um, under the branch lesson one where we're starting out. And then I'm also gonna have this Node.js backend. So all it is is it's gonna grab this, these uploads, these images and save them in the images directory. And then we also have another uh, item called from name. So we're passing two variables, image uploads and from name, but I've been sending 250 megabytes. So this is about 250 megabytes and it's still very, very quick. So you might wanna upload this to a server if you want to actually see the process. And I also have a video for that. So you can see how to upload this to a virtual private server, a VPS with DigitalOcean. And I also have a video on how to upload this with render. But the problem with render is it's completely free to host a Node.js application. You don't actually get any storage for free, so you won't be able to actually see that the images are on the server. But what you will be able to see is the progress of the post request. So you'll be able to send the post request, just not actually see the images. So if you're not searching up this video for your own project, then you can download this. You can optionally upload it to a server. But if not, anyways, let's get started very long intro. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a label. So right now we just have this upload button, which is going to call the API request. So we're going to make a label. So we're going to get private let percent label is a UI label equals let label equal UI label return label label dot text color it's going to be dot label label dot text alignment equals dot center label dot uh, font equals dot system font of size 48 regular and we're going to make label dot text equals not uploading so now in our view to load, this isn't very organized, but whatever. I'm just gonna say self.view add subview, and we're gonna do percent label. We're gonna copy it. We're gonna say self dot percent label dot translates auto rule. You can read that out, equals false. So then we're gonna say ns layout constraint dot activate. We're gonna pass in an array. We're gonna percent label dot center y anchor dot constraint equals to self dot view dot center y anchor we're going to put a comma at the end we're going to copy that four times we're going to do center x anchor for the second constraint center x anchor and then we're going to do a width anchor and a height anchor we're going to make this equal to constant and we're going to do 400 for the width anchor. And we're gonna do equal to constant 120 for the height anchor. So now if we run our project, we should see a label. And there we go. So if we come down to our upload function, you can see that right now we're just calling URL session dot shared. So this is the singleton and then we're calling the data task on that. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say let session equals URL session. And we're gonna do configuration delegate and delegate queue is the one that you want. So for this, we're gonna say URL session configuration dot default. 
our delegate, we're gonna say self and our delegate queue is gonna be nil. If we set this to nil, it's gonna be on a background thread. Otherwise, you could do operation queue dot main, but we don't really want it on the main thread. So we're just gonna pass in nil. So now on this session, we're gonna call the data task from there. So session dot data task with request. And there we go. So now this is gonna complain at us because we need to conform to the URL session delegate. But actually, I think that's wrong. So I think what we actually need, we're gonna to come to the top with our view controller. We're gonna put a comma. We're gonna say URL session task delegate. So I backed up a little bit and put URL session delegate instead of task delegate. And as you can see, we have URL session did finish events. We have URL session did become invalid with error, did receive and did receive. So that's not the one that we want. So we're gonna say URL session task delegate. And then now if we look, we have URL session. We have a whole bunch more. And what we're looking for is did send body data to this one. So we're gonna copy it. We're gonna just bring it down here below. We're gonna paste it. And now you will see we have the session, we have the task, we have did send data body, we have byte sent, we have total byte sent, we have total bytes expected to send. So this is how we're gonna show our uh, thingy. So we're gonna say let, let upload progress float colon float equals float. And in this float uh, typecast, we're gonna say total byte sent. We're gonna say divided by float total bytes expected to send. Okay, so now we're gonna say, <clears throat> so that's gonna be a percentage, um, not a percentage, but like a 0 0.63 or 63%. We're gonna say, let upload progress int, uh, colon int equals, we're gonna type cast, so int parenthesis, we're gonna say upload progress float times 100. So now we have an integer uh, and this is gonna be the percentage. So now we're gonna say self dot percent label dot text equals, and we're gonna do a string interpolation. We're gonna say upload progress int and we're gonna go outside of the string interpolation. We're gonna do a slash and we're gonna do 100%. And this actually needs to be called on the main queue. So we're gonna say ditch patch queue dot main.async and since we're calling self, we're gonna to need to say weak self to avoid retain cycles. And we're gonna say self.percentlabel. Just gonna call this. We're actually gonna throw this stuff in here as well. <clears throat> Although I don't think it needs to be. So I think that is it. So this is the URL we're sending to. We have our node app we need to start it up. So we have our node app working and we're gonna go to this little spray paint icon here. We're just gonna take a look. So first we're gonna see the memory piling up, then we're gonna see the network piling up. And that's because we're converting the UI images to JPEG data first. Okay, so the network, there we go. So as you could see, it was very quick because it's on our own computer, it's local host. There's no real constraints in bandwidth. There are, but it's very high. So I'm gonna show you something. So don't try this IP because it's gonna be deleted before, but I have an IP to a VPS, or if you're using render, you'll have a link. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload to this IP instead. And we're gonna see what the difference is. Okay, so I had some errors with my server, but now we can come over here. We can click upload. And as you can see, it's gonna populate the memory, turn all the UI images into JPEG data. And then if you look at, there we go. So. 
Since it's on a server, it takes much longer, but you can see the percentage of how much it's done. It's at 50%. And so in total, bytes out is 207 megabytes. So as you can see, it takes a little bit longer with this. So something else that you can do and like obviously it takes a while to even get to this stage jpeg data compression 0.99 so you can do this you should realistically i mean this is a horrible way to deal with this in an app is to force unwrap all this stuff obviously you wouldn't do this but you shouldn't be converting the images into data right when you click send. They should already be done much before in the background. Um, oh, I see. This should be data. Okay, so now as you're going to see, what's going to happen is it's going to load all this into images at the start. So it's going to load it all into RAM. So memory right here. So it's going to hang slower. This should all be done on the background thread while you're in the app so that it's ready, but it's not blocking the main thread. So now when you click upload, it's gonna automatically start to upload so that you don't have any hang time. But I mean, that's all, that's all I have for you. So if you enjoyed this, if this helped out, please comment and like, and if you want more videos, then please subscribe. Thanks very much, bye.